This soap had me going bananas. Stay tuned to see how it turns out. Hi soapy friends, it's Steph from Micahs and More. Welcome to a very special collaboration video, Isolation Inspiration, Showing Off My Wardrobe. This is called Going Bananas. The collaboration idea was by Artie Jane, and the title credit goes to Lisa Cunningham. For this collaboration, we were to take a favorite piece of clothing or fabric that would inspire us to make a soap to lift our spirits during these troubled times. Please use the hashtag in the description to see the other soaps in this event. My inspiration pick is bedding from Target that is nearly identical to some that I have. Let's make soap! I start by adding my lye water to the melted oils. I have sugar, sodium lactate, and tussa silk in the lye water. The oils that I use are lard, coconut, olive pomace, cocoa butter, and shea butter. I stick blend until it reaches an emulsion. I clean off my stick blender with the large spoonula and then I separate out the amount that I need. I think I've learned my lesson, I am not going to be doing three batches at a time. When I let it sit too long, this is what results. So this soap was the third one of the day and I don't like starting out with really thick soap. But after stirring a bit with my small spoonula, it loosened right up. I add the fragrance oil that I'm testing, which is banana cream pie. It smells just like the name says, with a note of peanut butter. Here I'm mixing gold shimmer mica in a little bit of my reserved oil. This is Yell and Yellow Neon, mixed in a little bit of oil. I wanted something really fun for this project. And finally, I'm using water dispersible titanium dioxide as a contrast. And I'll also leave some plain as a control to see if the fragrance oil will discolor the soap.
I'm going to try using two pitchers with two colors in each for a kiss pour. This one gets the titanium dioxide colored soap and the neon. And to the other pitcher, I'll add the plain soap along with the gold shimmer soap. Let's get this soap in the mold. And I'll also leave a link in the description to the corrugated plastic mold tutorial that I did. Unfortunately, this soap was a bit too thick for this design, so I ended up just spooning the rest of it in. I'm adding Stellar White Mica mixed in oil for a pop of sparkle. I use a piece of corrugated plastic to drag the mica across the top of the soap. but I didn't really like that look, so I decided to swirl it with a toothpick. Mm -hmm. 
I decided I wanted the colors to combine a little bit more from left to right. This definitely didn't work for me either, so when all else fails, go back to swirling. One last look before I put this one to bed. I'll put it in a box and under a blanket for about 24 hours. A day later, it's ready to unmold. I use an acrylic ruler and a knife to score where I want to cut the soap. And then I'll use the knife to cut it in half and follow up with the rest of the cutting on my wire cutter. And here's the cut soap picks after the bars have been cleaned up a bit. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to watch the other soap videos in this fun collaboration. But not everyone is making soap, as some people are short on supplies right now. You can order supplies used here at micasandmore.com online anytime. And to share pics of fun things that you've made with my products, please join my Facebook group, Steph's Micas and More. Thanks for watching.